Okie doke. Well, let's start this thing, shall we? So welcome. I'm Claritha Yeager. If you don't know me already, um, this is going to be a guided grounding meditation and visualization to help ground your body and clear your mind, like clear the clutter out of your mind. So thank you for joining me live if you're here and thank you for joining me if you are watching this on the replay. We are going to be using our imaginations. I just wanna make sure everybody can hear me okay. So if your camera's on, can you give me a thumbs up? Or, okay, awesome, perfect. Okay, wonderful, thank you for that. So we're gonna be using a little bit of our imagination and I think this is gonna be a fun exercise. We are just gonna do some grounding to start and connect in. And then I'm gonna share a simple exercise um, that I learned from one of my teachers to just help give you space between you and your busy thoughts. Um, so I'm guesstimating we're gonna be here for about 30 minutes, not a long time for self-care. So let's go ahead and get started here. So first I'm going to light a candle. Um, so I invite you, if you've got a candle, I invite you to light a candle too. Candles hold space. And I like using them in any of my energetic practices. So if you have one, you are welcome to light it with me. If you don't have one, um, use the candle that I have lit right here to help set your intention for what you want to experience today. Okay. And your intention can be basically for anything. Um, you can set your intention for this experience to be fun. You can set your intention for this experience to be easy. You can, um, set your intention just for this to be uplifting and for you to feel better after this. Um, or to get clarity on something that you're dealing with right now. So your intention can be whatever you need it to be for now. And this is your time to direct your mental energy to where you would like it to go. All right. So I'm just going to set that there. And then I'm actually going to use a little incense also. I'm going to just light that from my candle. And I like to wave my incense in a figure eight. And this just helps to energetically clear the space. And you can do this with sage, palo santo, frankincense, copal, um, dried herbs like lavender or sweetgrass, anything really. And that just helps to uh, layer in the high frequency for the space. So I like to layer in all the energetic things. So now that our space is set, we are ready to go. And I want you to take a moment to get comfortable. So I would suggest doing this exercise sitting up um, either in a chair or on the ground. But if you really want to lay down because that's more comfortable for you, you know, do that for you. I want you to be comfortable. Um, so do that. <laughs> so find your position here and close your eyes. We're just going to start to become aware of our body and aware of where your body is in space. All right. So whether you're sitting up, leaning against a chair, leaning against a wall, leaning against the couch, see if there are any adjustments that you can make to make your body 10% more comfortable. And as you do that, start to become more aware of your breathing. And I like to begin any sort of energy work with three heart breaths. So we're gonna do that now. So take a nice inhale breath in, imagining that breath and that energy coming directly into your heart and exhale your weak. And you can put your hands on your heart if you like. And then we're gonna do another nice inhale breath in slowly through the nose, but imagining the energy coming in through your heart and just exhale other people's energy. And last inhale breath in, hold it for just a moment and mentally gather your thoughts or beliefs that aren't serving your highest good right now and exhale them out. Beautiful. 
So keeping your eyes closed, breathe your awareness down to your feet. So if you're sitting in a chair with your feet on the ground, start to become aware of the soles of your feet. Or if you're sitting in a chair, sitting upright with your legs tuck, tucked under you, you can bring your awareness down to your root chakra, which is at the base of your tailbone. Or if you're lying down, bring your awareness to the lowest part of your body that's in contact with whatever is supporting you. And bring your awareness to the space, to that contact area, and really starting to feel the space around where you're connected, allowing yourself to be magnetized to the earth by gravity. And this gravitational pull plugs you into this beautiful grid of light that covers the surface of our lovely planet. So you imagine that you're sitting or lying upon a sparkly intersection of light that crisscrosses underneath you and start to notice the energy where your body is connected to this light. What does it feel like? Does it feel like a buzz, a zing, glow? Is there a warm sensation or a cool sensation? Just notice what your body's feeling. You're tapping into unseen energies. So use your body to give you feedback. And now that you've plugged into this light grid, Allow anything that feels heavy, anything that feels tight or irritating or agitating to your system to flow down your body and to be absorbed into the light directly underneath you. So it's a purifying light that can alchemize any denser energy that feels like it's weighing you down. So allow it to slide down you, let it go, let it flow. Seeing these thoughts or these energies or these consciousnesses moving down your body and away from you and dissolving into light. And you can use your breath to help you visualize this happening just allowing your cares and your worries sliding down and out while you are starting to feel lighter and brighter and knowing that you're held in this light always. So from here, we're gonna explore this grid a little more with your eyes remaining closed in your mind's eye, notice again the intersection of light underneath you. Staying connected with it. I want you to widen your perception. And you can do this in your mind's eye. You can do this with just your energetic feelers. You see that the intersection is actually conjoining circles conjoining light circles. And as you widen your perception even further, you start to see that these connecting circles span out as far as the eye can see. It's like ripples in a pond, creating a beautiful, beautiful geometric pattern that resembles the flower of life. And if you don't know what the flower of life is, that's okay. It's just a beautiful geometric pattern of overlapping circles that holds a very high vibration. And now you are plugged into that vibration. You are plugged into this luminous geometric grid that encircles the entirety of our planet. 
It's like a high vibrational super highway of light connecting all life above and below, giving and receiving equally. So just take a moment here and breathe. See how it feels in your skin. So you are part of it. You are held in light. You're connected and grounded to the highest frequency light grid on the planet available to you today. It feels so good to be linked into a network of such high vibration. Know that you are safe. Know that you are protected. And know that you can use this light grid to connect to loved ones or sacred spaces anywhere on the earth just by plugging into this grid and using your intention, using your imagination and using your breath to bridge the gap between you and whatever it is that you wanna connect with. This is the fifth dimension and above. Breathe in this light. And with your next inhale, breathe this energy up through your feet, through your legs and hips, through your root chakra and all the way into your heart. See this light energy infusing light into your heart and being pumped out to your entire body, reorganizing, recalibrating, and lighting up all of your cells. You're reminding your cells that they are youth and they are perfection. And feeling each of them wake up and pulse with a higher vibration. Just feeling radiant as that spreads out throughout your body. Keep breathing. Now move your awareness to your head Find yourself behind your eyes in the center of your head. You can turn your gaze inwards and upwards, activating that third chakra, activating that pineal gland and setting the intention to work with your intuition. using your third eye chakra, setting the intention for truths to be visible to you, setting the intention to rediscover and remember your divine self. So next we're gonna bring your attention to the very top of your head, your crown chakra, your seventh energy center, this is where we connect to the upper chakras and the high vibrational information that flows to us and into our physical body. See and feel yourself opening this chakra up to receive. And you can imagine a beautiful flower blossoming, stretching open like a flower turning towards the sun. And imagine golden rays of light, like sun, like sunshine, collecting and creating a glowing pillar of light that's coming in directly through your crown. And this energy is soft. This energy is gentle and loving. And it continues to light you up from the inside out. It's strengthening and recalibrating the unbreakable 
an ever present link between you and your higher self. Your higher self is the most wonderful, the most brilliant, the most expansive, all knowing, beautiful version of yourself. So use your breath to pull that energy from above your head, through your crown, through your third eye, through your throat and into your heart. Your heart is amazing. Your heart connects the energy of heaven and earth because you are the embodiment of heaven on earth. And the energy you hold in your heart links and integrates the divine energies from above and below. You know that you are never not connected to them. This is part of the blessing of being in human form and honoring your human body. It's a sacred temple that houses the infinite magic of your beingness. So sink into that feeling and sink into that remembrance because deep down, you know, you know that you are light. You know that you are love. You know that you're truth because you are. So breathe that in, receive it. Know that it is truth. Nice inhale breath in. Nice exhale breath out. And now we're gonna do a short visualization to help clear the clutter from your mind and give you some distance from any busy thoughts occupying your attention. So keeping your eyes closed, imagine your favorite flower in front of you. It can be a rose, it can be a sunflower or a daisy whatever you like, and see that about arm's length distance in front of you. So visualize it there, feel it there. And now imagine another flower right behind you at the same distance away. And then you're gonna imagine two more flowers to your right and to your left at those same distances. So imagine this and feel it around you. And now you're gonna connect your flowers to each other. It's gonna create a diamond shape around you. So in your mind, visualize this line of energy. It's making a straight line from the flower in front of you the flower on the left, the flower behind you, and the flower on your right, and then back to the front. So you have this diamond around your body. And now I want you to create a flower above your head. And create this flower above your head to the other flowers, the one in your front, the one to your left, the flower behind you and the flower to your right. And you'll notice that you've created a pyramid. So there's a pyramid and you're sitting in the middle of it. So take a moment to visualize that. And you know you are sitting in a pyramid that's facing upwards. And now I want you to imagine a flower underneath you. And we're gonna do the same thing. 
you're going to connect the flower underneath you to the flower in front of you, the flower to the left, the flower behind you, and the flower to your right. And now you've got a pyramid pointing down. So start to bring your awareness to how you're feeling because you've created a very powerful container for energy. This is an, called an octahedron, which is a form of sacred geometry. It's one of the platonic solids, which is considered one of the building blocks of everything in creation. And you just created your own version of that for you that you are sitting in. So see how it feels. Imagine sitting in this space, cocoon yourself in this space and feel safe here. You've created this energetic con container for yourself. Take a nice breath in and exhale. And now I want you to think about something that you've entangled your mental energy in that might feel overwhelming, might make you feel anxious, or something that's consistently on your mind. So imagine this situation or these thoughts, or maybe it's even a project, and notice where it is. See if it's inside the container that you just created, or if it's inside your body. And if it's bothering you, it probably is inside your container or in the body. And now I want you to imagine to create, imagine that you are going to create the same energetic container, this octahedron out in front of you with a little pyramid pointed up and a little pyramid pointed down. And so maybe it's about 10 feet in front of you and this is where you're gonna put all of that energy, all of those thoughts or that situation or that project that is agitating your system. So mentally, I want you to move the energy out of your body or of the immediate space around you and move it into this octahedron ahead of you. So use your imagination see it moving away from you, see it moving outside of you, creating some distance because you are not the energy of it. And we're practicing moving the energy away from us. So you are not the project, you are not the thoughts, you are not the situation, you are you. You are wonderfully you. And so you put all of that mental energy or that mental angst inside that octahedron that is outside of you. And when you need to revisit that project, that situation or those thoughts, when you want to engage with it again, you just recall where you put that geometry, where you put that octahedron and you reach out and you bring it back to you. And know that you can do this with anything. You can have multiple worries, projects or situations that may need your attention, but don't have to weigh on your mind every hour of the day. So you use the octahedrons out and around you to hold the energy of those things for you. And you can tune into them or out of them as needed. And you no longer have to carry everything with you at the same time. So practice this. This will help give you distance of things in your mind, space in your mind, clarity of your mind and peace in your heart.
So reconnect with your breath again. Coming back to your body. Maybe moving your fingers or your toes. Finding yourself behind your eyes. Gently stretching or moving your body again. And not forgetting to thank yourself for a few short moments to pause and reestablish that connection to yourself, to the earth, to the heavens, and your divinity. Just taking another nice breath in. and opening your eyes whenever you're ready. So how are you guys doing? How are you feeling? If you need to ground a little bit more, you can rub your feet on the floor or rub your hands on the floor, just reestablishing that connection to bring your energy back in your body. Or you can pat yourself on your legs, on your arms or your chest to help bring that back. So just coming back in, how are you guys doing? You guys did a great job, fantastic job, everyone. <laughs> For the cameras that are on, I think everybody's back. So fantastic, fantastic. If you want to share anything from that experience, I would love to hear it. Um, if not, that's OK, too. You can pop the comments in the chat. Um, that was lovely. John gets given a thumbs up. You guys, wonderful. So happy. Another thumbs up. Oh, yay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's a good it's a good Friday to do that on. Um, and tomorrow's 1010 also. So, you know, lots of powerful energetic um, portals and things coming up here. So that's wonderful. Sorry about the back, a little bit of the background noise and a cat jumped on me <laughs> during that situation. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that was helpful. And everybody who is here with me live, um, I'll also send the replay out to you guys. Um, but the, you know, the people who registered um, to watch it later will also do that. And I also wanted to share a really special offer with you guys that I was called to put together for this particular group to support your mindset, to support your consciousness, your confidence and your body. So um, it's sort of like a mind, body, heart thing that I'm calling the uplift and shift pack. And so it's a bundle of four things. So first it's a recording of my 45 minute webinar that I did um, earlier this year about how to overcome a limiting belief. And what I go through is a five-step process, which I think is super helpful right now because there's a lot of beliefs, whether they're about yourself or other things that are changing right now or relationships or careers. So a lot of belief systems are coming up to be reassessed right now. So I think it's a perfect time to look to see if your beliefs are serving you or not. And this webinar will hopefully help you with that. The second thing is a 60 minute um, distance energy and reading session with me um, where I get all sorts of intuitive information. Um, so that's always super fun. And the anything that I get will be sent in an email. I shouldn't say anything because I always get stuff <laughs> will be sent in an email afterwards. So that's the second thing included in the package. Um, the third thing is this friggin amazing audio track I just created um, this week. That's going to make you feel like a superhero. I've listened to it like five times today. <laughs> so what it is, is a short audio track of me speaking affirmations with some music in the background. And so it's 
really powerful. Like, I feel like I could just fly off a roof when I'm like done with it. Um, it's amazing. So you get that. And the fourth thing is a 30 minute um, call with me. I call them a clarity call where we can talk about the beliefs webinar recording. If you need help and support with shifting beliefs, um, if you have any questions about your energy healing and reading session, if you need clarity or just support in some other aspect of your life. So it's really kind of the time for you to have my full attention and talk about anything that, you know, needs to come through for you or that you need um, some support with. So that bundle is worth um over $300, but I'm offering it for a really, a really good, great price for you guys. So it's a good gift for you. It's a good gift for somebody else. So I'm just going to pop that link here in the chat. So you can take a look at that. Um, if you uh, are watching this on the replay, I will include the link below if you're interested in that. So there's that. Um, and what else was I going to say to you guys? I think that's kind of the biggies. So if you have questions about the uplift and shift pack, um, great. If not, you can shoot me, you know, if you do, you can shoot me an email or a direct message. If not, um, thank you again for being here. I hope our time together uh, really supported you today. And I wish that you have a very lovely rest of your day, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. So heartfelt thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys so much and sending you all really big blessings. So I'm just going to go through the comments here. So if you need to pop off, that's fine. But um, I just want to reply to people. So MK, that was lovely. Latrice, that was powerful. Yay. Thank you, Latrice. Um, Lori, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful visual. I'm outside. Feet in the dirt. Love it. Yes, Lori. <laughs> I wish I could be outside. You probably heard some of the background noise. I'm in Chicago. It's a city. So there were some sirens. There were some things. Um, but yeah, outside in the dirt, Lori, I agree. That's where I would prefer to be. Ali says, awesome. Thank you very much, Claritha. I'm still enjoying all the benefits of the Sovereign and Strong Summit. Yay. Thank you, Ali. I miss it. <laughs> so um, yeah, thank you all, dear ones. Infinite love and gratitude. Amazing. Uh, Alicia says, thank you, sis. That's my sister. She was here. <laughs> this is awesome. You're welcome. Um, Diane says, thank you. So beautiful. Thank you, Diane. And Vicki says, thank you. Malia says, thank you. So I appreciate you guys being here with me so much. Um, yeah. If you have any questions or anything, um, feel free to shoot me. A, you know, you can always send me an email. So that is not like <laughs> closed off to you guys, but um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Happy 1010. Hang in there. We got this together. We might do another one of these. If you guys like these types of things, maybe I'll consider doing um, like one a month just to support um, everybody. But um, gracias. You are so welcome, <laughs> Liz and Andres. Um, and you're so welcome, John. Thank you so much. So I hope you guys have a wonderful time. We're all in this together and um, yeah, just onward and upwards. So have a beautiful rest of your evening and um, sending you all my love. So take care, you guys. <laughs>